way. Protesters are starting to put up signs. That this is not a serious situation. It is a very serious situation. Their actions suggest it's otherwise. Worse in other areas. But I want people to be aware of what is happening here. There are <laughs> large trends that the city of Portland does not control at work here. The first is the economy. We are seeing a uh, rapid uh, concentration of wealth. That means people at the lower end of the economic spectrum are being the hardest hit. And at the exact same time, what's happening is the cost of housing is becoming increasingly affordable for lots of people. We have the ability to control that to a certain degree at the local level. That's what we're doing with the 2035 plan. I hope people will continue to support height and density. Sorry, 2035 plan, thank you. Height and density in the central core so we can have workforce and lower income housing. The second trend is opioid and heroin addiction. And again, this is a national issue and it is filtering down and we are seeing it here at the local level. We have to go upstream to be able to effectively address these issues. Third and finally, you're seeing more mental health issues here. Uh, this nation has not been successful in addressing community-based mental health services. There are a lot of good providers here, uh, but there is so much more that we can do. So I, I just want to continue to have people to focus upstream. Now, we have a responsibility here to do what we can do with the tools that we have at our disposal. <coughs> I want to assure you that my administration is working very, very hard on this. Uh, we have been addressing livability issues, so public health issues, environmental issues. I remind you that that is in violation of council rules. Please do not do that again. We have uh, increased our police presence. We have increased park ranger presence. We've increased funding for trash collection, biohazard collection, and other issues. We have worked with private sector and nonprofit partners to help encourage volunteers to participate both supporting uh, the homeless population and addressing oh some of the livability issues that come with it. Uh, so what I'm asking us all to do is let's put our collective energy no matter where we, excuse me, you are in violation of council rules and you have been asked. all of our livability issues into Village of Hope right now. In fact, does anybody here need a blanket to take to people living on the streets? I'd like to know if anybody here needs a blanket. I've got a blanket for people on the street. Village of Hope has blankets and tents for people living on the streets. Does anybody here need a blanket? I can't believe no one here needs a blanket for people to come living on the streets. I've had a few people today. Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Village of Hope needs to remain right where it is because you are all incompetent. They're autonomous and supporting their own well being. You don't have to do this. You don't want them downtown, and then you don't want them out in the woods. You move them to the east side. You move them to the east side. Now the east side is working. You wonder why we're here. Yeah, and you, you, uh, you came up with some really good ideas. The rush man. You're all going to burn in hell, bitch! Mm-hmm. You call me Miss Walsh. You go ahead 
gonna call me Joe. Joe. You're a fucking bozo. That's what I'm gonna call you. Mr. Walsh, now on. Don't do me. You don't tell me anything. He threw me out. Throw me out, Mayor. Go on, Reckon. Go to your room and hide, you Republican. Come on. You want me to do We care about our communities, Mr. Mayor, Commissioner Fritz. That's why we're here. So do I. Oh, oh, I'm still here. <laughs> We've done too much work for this city to sell us down the river, Ted. You owe us for last winter. <laughs> So even when the meeting's out of session, they're still kicking people out. Yes, on the consent agenda. And one more yes on the consent agenda. 